The wide range of ability in NQT Chris Farnan's Year 5 class makes big demands of his classroom management. I viewed the filming he bravely agreed to, and I'm going to be giving him some tips to make things a little easier. Chris, I noticed there seems to be quite a wide range of abilities in the class. Would you say that's true? Yeah, how, are you, how are you coping with that? Um, I find it difficult because set work at the school is often not differentiated, so I find I have to differentiate all by support all the time. I do find that a challenge, especially at like the bottom end of the class, not to completely lose them. OK, and the top end as well? That is the big problem with the all produced same work. Some people finish it much, much quicker than others. So many hands up. Yes, you finished. So in the factors lesson, yeah. there, there was some differentiation going on there, wasn't mm -hmm. there? Talk to me about that. Some of the children I have um, really have uh, special educational needs anyway, so yeah. I have to have someone sitting with them. And I'll always try and sit and work with one of the low ability groups. More of the low ability are girls. Right. They are more difficult and much less focused on getting things finished. 32 is two more than 30, isn't it? So if half of 30 is 15, what's half of two? What's half of two? One. And then my higher groups, I'll give work and they can generally do that. If you tell them to do something, they'll do it. Remember as well that sometimes differentiation is about you going to extend the more able and sometimes yeah. you can feel, oh, I shouldn't really go and sit with them because they can already do it. But at the same time, just keeping in the back of your mind, yeah. sometimes let's see the gifted yeah, and talented sure. as, as having a need as well. Yeah. Which task did you feel mo would have most benefited from more differentiation? I think the writing. The haunted house. An all senses setting. What do you think you could hear? Yeah, maybe. What kind of noise do they make? Okay. Yeah? Flapping the bass. So we've got this writing task. Mm -hmm. Would there have been a possibility that some of them would have been more freed up to be creative if they had perhaps used some kind of recording device? So could one of the less able groups have sat together and devised some bits of the story which they recorded first and then they passed around and they listened to... Mm. Yeah. So that would then speed up the kind of creative part of it. Sure. Yeah. What's the motivation for bats? Yeah. Yeah. Bats. Yeah. Yeah. Vicious, pit, black, bats. <laughs> now, you're most stable. I felt they would have benefited from a shorter time target and then an extension activity that wasn't to do with more writing. Mm. It could have been, for instance, taking the story they'd created so far and dramatising it for mm. the rest of the class. I guess it's like similar, like video, videoing themselves, like talking in spooky voices. If somebody said to me, I want these children to create a two-page st spooky story with lots of mm. senses in it, the f my first thought would be, right, well, let's go and get some spooky resources. Yeah, sure. Get them hands-on with those, mm. making a video, telling in a spooky voice the spooky mm. story, because then they get the language, don't mm. they? They get to feel it in their mouths. Mm. Mm. we got another adjective to describe our door. The creaky. The creaky brown door. Well, I definitely feel like like that they miss out on that because they haven't got enough background on it. They haven't done any sort of scary, sort of ghostly activities, anything to fall back on when they come to write. And it's very like mechanical process, like I want two adjectives and there does need to be more build up of learning and knowledge. Rule, cackling laughter, alliteration, goods. When you're a new teacher, you're in at your first post, you want to do things the way the school asks you to do them. But at the same time, they're your class. Mm. 